Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Red Zone at Hicksville High School as we are getting ready for varsity basketball action on a Friday night. Here on Hicks TV, I'm Bill Murphy alongside Jim Seiler, Chris Warner behind the camera, and Jim, games don't get much bigger than the one that we've got on deck for us tonight. They won't, they won't get much bigger unless you're in tournament now. Uh, this will be just about the end of our season. We have a couple more games left. And, you know, yep. we're, uh, we're at one loss for the year, and Wayne Trace has one loss in the GMC, and they are like 15 and 5. So it'll be a real, it'll be a real battle. Yep. I think uh, Haviland is probably whoever left last locked it up. Uh, there, there's a good crowd here tonight. It's a blackout night for the Aces. And uh, again, no love lost between these two uh, basketball programs. So this is going to be a battle, and uh, you can you can tell how big a game this is. Uh, in addition to us being here, uh, there are two radio stations, one other television. There's there's a lot of media here tonight. A couple of internet uh, TV or internet uh, radio stations. So lots and lots of media, very crowded up here on Press Row. We sent mentioned that because if. During the course of this game, if you see our camera rock or whatever, because somebody has hit the tripod, or so we're going to do the best that we can. Jim, let's uh, take a look at the starting lineups. Okay, here we go for Wayne Trace. We have number 14, Reed Miller, a junior at 5'10. He's an excellent ball player. Number 20, Josiah Linder, a senior, six foot. He's the coach's son, and he is uh, not the same level as his older brothers, but he can still play. The uh, next player is number 22, Nate Gerber. He's a junior at 6'5". Big boy can handle himself inside. Number 24 is Trey Sin, one of the Sin boys. He's a senior at 5'11". And number... 34 is Jace Vining, a junior at 5'10". And the Wayne Trace is coached by Jimmy Linder. The Aces coached by oh yeah. Tony Tier. Tony Tier. Yeah, blank from my mind. <laughs> For the Aces, number one, Travian Tunis, a junior at six foot. Number four, Dylan Early, a senior at 5'8". Number 10, Michael Myers, a senior at 5'8". Number 12, Parker Thiel, a senior at 6'1". And number 22, the uh, scoring leader of the team, Landon Turnbull, is a sophomore at 6'2". So we are set to go. Yep. This is an important game. Uh, Jim and I got some extra spaces in the scorebook because... Uh, a lot of the junior varsity team is uh, on the bench and dressed and standing by if needed. And I think that's probably the case for the Raiders as well. And, uh, well, we're just about ready to go. Going to sit back and relax. 6-5 against 6-2. Jump in center circle. Here we Fasten go. your seat belts. Here we go. Sin against, or, uh, yeah, not Gerber. Gerber against Turnbull. <laughs> Gerber, Gerber getting in there a little too close. And Turnbull gets the tip off the 6 5 back. Meyer down to Dylan Early. Cross court, Travian Tunis. Over on the opposite side, Early gives it to Turnbull. Comes back around. Michael Myers with it out front to Tunis. Dylan Early. Early. Off the no iron. good. Rebound number 20 for Wayne Trace is Josiah Linder, the coach's son. Binding with the ball to Linder. Linder back. Gets it inside to Gerber and it's off the glass and good. Gerber's going to be able to capitalize on that with the height advantage. Oh, good idea. 
pass was not headed the correct direction yep. for Early. So Wayne Trace bringing the ball up. Reed Miller, number 14. Over to Linder. Miller down to Gerber. Big man off the glass, no good. Turnbull to rebound. He quickly gets it to Myers. Down low goes Turnbull. Off the glass, we're good. We're gonna have our first foul of the night. Linder going to the hoop. 22, 22. Turnbull. Turnbull is going to have to watch it because they're going to take it to him a lot tonight. Sure it's going to be matched up against the big man. Josiah Linder, his first free throw is good. Second is off the front of the rim. Tunis with the board. Is it to Thiel? Thiel has been quiet so far tonight. Tunis, Tunis. from outside, it's short. Oh. Gerber with the loose ball. Ah, oh, yeah. Took it the length of the floor. It's a five to two. Aces find themselves down by three. Let us settle down. Early. Early from the corner, it's no good. Rebound, Thiel. Out front to Tunis. Is it Myers? To Tunis. Early. To Myers in the lane. Pass down low to Thiel. Early's going to try again. And he misses again. 0 for 3. Steal by Early. Myers looking good, and no. it's a little bit short. Now Tunis. Tunis. And they just can't seem to dial it in from long distance tonight, Jim. That was as close as it could have been. Down and in and rolled out. Bunch of good looking shots from three point range, but all of them just a little bit off kilter. Five to two, Raiders. Linder. Rebound, Thiel, quickly down floor into the corner. Out front, Turnbull, Turnbull got, a got push. Pushed. Linder with the foul. Wayne Trace fouls on number 20. That's his first, and team foul number one. It's on the floor. Early, nice little Got soft it. touch. Five to four, Wayne Trace lead. Linder going to have a foul inside. Be Myers first. Next 
Brickle will come in for Tunis. And Mox Price into the game for the Raiders. Gerber from outside, in and out, no good, and rebound to Thiel. Myers down low. Ball knocked away. Gerber, bucket in a foul. Raiders are quick. I think Parker Thiel honestly thought that that ball was going to go out of bounds. He held up, but the Raider player caught up to it. And that'll be um, Brickle getting his first personal. Team foul number three now on the aces. More and into the game, number 12. And the big man, Nate Gerber, at the free throw line. He gets it. So the Raiders double it up on the aces, eight to four. Turnball long. Rebound goes to Moore. Gerber. Reed Miller. Price. Ball's going around. Tunis with the steal. Oh. Got the blocking foul on number 32. Trace fouls on number 32, Mox Price, his first team second. Ever land the aces to the number one, Trevian Tunis shooting two. Aces could use the free throws here. Tunis hits the front end. He'll have one more. Parker Thiel steps out and Dylan Early back into the game for Hicksville. Thiel's being defended. Big time. One for two for Tunis. Reed Miller with the ball. Goes inside to Gerber. Oh. Took him out of the play. They gonna walk. <clears throat> Good job, Dylan Early. Getting right into his face there, and he takes the step. Brickles back out, Thiel back in. Go under two minutes in our opening quarter. Thiel down to Turnbull, laying good. Good thing there was nobody in front of that freight train. <laughs> wow. Miller with the ball. Gives it over to Vining. Vining's jumper is no good, and he's going to be fouled by Turnbull. That's two now on Landon. Miller going to come into the game. Reinhardt will for the Raiders. Vining hits the first free throw. Turnbull will have a seat. And Jake Miller in the game for Landon. Trace in into the game for Vining. So Ace is now down by three.
Tunis from outside. It's no good. Miller the rebound. Shot by Myers is no good. Rebound Tunis. Back out to Miller. Over to Tunis in the corner. Hmm. It's not going to happen. Beal trying to make something happen. Myers. And there's still ice cold from long distance. Down to 34 seconds and counting. Raiders look to be holding it for the last shot here. Oh, Myers with a seal. Now the Aces will go for the last shot. Eight. Go. They need to shoot it, and they take too long. Coach Tier not happy at all. Getting a little red in the face there. Took too long to get started on it. Yep. So the score up your first period of play. It's Wayne Trace 10 and the Aces 7. So we've got some time here between quarters to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships here in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt, Chevrolet Buick, and Jim Schmidt Ford. Remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, brand new, pre-owned car, truck, van, SUV, check out the great selection they have on the lots or the entire dealer inventory is available online at jimschmidtauto.com. And Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, proudly serving the Hicksville area's healthcare needs for over 65 years. You can find out all you need to know about the physicians on staff and the many programs and classes that they have available, as well as their departments and everything else at www.cmhosp.com. Community Memorial Hospital and the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, both right here in Hicksville, Ohio. Proud to have them as our basketball broadcast underwriters on Hicks TV. Eight minutes on the scorecard. Raiders leading by a tray, 10 to seven. We'll get the six, the second quarter underway. It'll be Tunis, Jake Miller, Parker Thiel, Michael Myers, and Dylan Early on the floor for the Aces as we get started with quarter number two. Yes, sir. So Linder inbounds the ball to Miller, and Wayne Trace is moving. Back to Linder. Miller with the ball. Linder tried to go baseline, got cut off. Oh, there we go. Trace in Sin. with the shot. That's the first three-pointer of the night on either side of the ball. Michael Myers with the ball in the corner of Tunis. Going early. Parker Thiel to Tunis for three. Got it. There we go. Maybe that'll break the ice a little bit. Back to a three-point game. Loose on the floor. Raiders hang on. And they're going <laughs> to lose it out of bounds. He lost it. Miller lost it out of bounds. Yep, Spies is coming into the game. No, oh, yeah. Tunis ties it up. 6.25, it's tied at 13. Shot put up. Rebound to Tunis. Myers, Miller, Miller. 
Deal spins, short jumper, no good. Rebound Gerber. Reed Miller with the ball to Gerber. Gerber drives to the hoop. Nothing doing. Didn't get the foul like he was anticipating either. Early. Oh! Yeah. And the crowd goes wild. And the crowd goes wild. Aces, Aces with their first lead. Student section wearing black tonight, and they're on their feet. Reed Miller drives. And we're going to have. That's going to be on early. Yes. Team foul number five. Trevor Spees going to have to watch for the three point shot. Yep, he had a couple of them in the junior varsity game. Gerber from the corner. It's no good. Number 24, I'll bet, gets a foul. Yep, he's yes, over the back. Team foul number three on the Raiders. Parker Deal. Deal. Tuna, two and three. Is. No good. Gerber's no. Rebound. Linder. Got uh, it. Managed to stay. get the ball up somehow through the Aces defense. Linder makes it a one-point game. Aces now leading 16-15. Hey, oh, Michael. Past the halfway point of our second quarter. Aces now leading by three. Space trace in back to Space. Gerbers. Linder. Oh, man. Linder carrying the basketball like a football there. Yeah. Oh. Jace Vining for three. We're tied at 18. Pass down low to Thiel. Tunis from the corner. Nope. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul underneath the bucket. It's going to be another one. Miller gets a foul. Team six. So next foul sends the Raiders to the line in the bonus. Beast with the ball. Vining is it up. Back to Vining, jumper from 15, no good. Speech with the rebound. Down underneath, wide open. Linder. Out of bounds to the Aces. Throws it away. Ah. Uh, some of that Wayne Trace sportsmanship. <laughs> yes, indeed. Did not like that call at all. And Coach Linder saying, no, no, he got his arm. He has a foul on 34. Blining. That's 
Team foul number four on the Raiders. 2.28 to go in this first half. Aces will get the ball out of bounds midcourt. Myers to Thiel. Thiel across to Early, back to Myers. Across the corner to Tunis. <laughs> Early with it. Miller. Tunis. Tunis drives, bring it back to Early. Over in the corner to Meyer, Miller. Myers to Miller, and it's off yeah. him out of bounds. Brickle in the game for Miller. Miller. Yeah, Miller's going to come out. Jake did a good job. Under two minutes to go. Here come the Raiders. We're tied at 18. Spies with the ball. Gerber's no. Three. to Tunis. Tunis is it back to early. Myers pass down low. Brickle. That was a sweet pass on those backhand ones. Yep. Brickle connected. One point game. Closing in on a minute to go in the first half. Ball going around to the corner. Over the binding, drives the lane. It's good. That's 34. Seven points now for Vining. 23 to 20. Oh, oh my golly! Michael Myers with an acrobatic two points. He's trying to draw the foul but was not able to do it. 25 seconds remaining in the first half. Speaks the ball to Gerbers. Binding with it. Raiders are gonna hold for the last shot. About threw it away. Gerbers long arm. Linder from the corner, it's no, no good. good. That'll be it. And that is the end of the first half of play in a tight fought ball game. It's Wayne Trace, Raiders 23, and the Hicksville Aces 22. We'll be back with the second half of play for you. Couple of minutes away from getting the second half of action started. And if you're just joining us, how the, uh, the game has not disappointed. It's lived up to its billing so far. At the half, the Raiders leading the Aces by a single point, 23 to 22. And honestly, Jim, if the Aces had been able to hit some of those three-point shots, uh, it might have been a, a little different on the scoreboard. But still, nonetheless, uh, the Aces sort of spreading it out, balanced scoring, and uh, Wayne Trace, most of the scoring just uh, attributed to two players. Yeah. they uh, Both teams have the same amount of trays that have been made. They're both at three, so I, that's no difference there. Uh, Scoring-wise for uh, Wayne Trace, Josiah Linder has a basket and a free throw for three. Uh, Nate Gerber has six on three baskets, 
and then three more on a tray and a free throw for 10. Nate Trey Sin has a tray for him, just like his name, and uh, <laughs> Jace Vining has a tray and a basket and two free throws. It gives him seven for their total of 23 for Hicksville. Travian Tunis has hit two trays and a free throw for seven. Zach Brickle has one basket for two. Dylan Early has a basket and a tray for five. Michael Myers has two baskets for four. And Landon Turnbull has two baskets for four for their total of 22. So we have 20 seconds and we'll go with the second half. Yes, indeed. Turnbull sitting out the entire second quarter. He picked up two personal fouls in the first quarter and they pulled him out of the game. So we'll look to see him back on the floor as we head into the third quarter here tonight. Big crowd, lots of press here. And again, neck and neck ball game. Neither team, both teams looked like there were, there were a couple times where both the Raiders and the Aces looked like they were ready to get hot and go on a good offensive run, but they got shut down. Right. So the defenses. defenses have been stepping up. Right. Parker Thiel held scoreless in the first half. When was the last time we were able to say that? Never. <laughs> oh, here we go. Michael Myers gives it into Thiel. Nope. No good, but Turnbull, Turnbull loses the rebound, gets it back. I think Turnbull's going to get a little bit more active now. Tunis drives to the hoop and is fouled. Let's see who they call that one on, if it's the big man or oh, number 14, 14 Miller. Tunis gets the first one. Both teams are going to want to hit their free throws and they oh, get the yeah. opportunity to go to the line in this game. Yes, they will. Missed that one. So Gerber's with the rebound. Tunis 50% from the free throw line. Miller. Divining. It's back to Miller. Linder. Tried to go in the lane. Gets it back out. Divining shot in the corner. Yeah, it's three. Good for three. 26-23, and it's back to a three-point lead for Wayne Trace. Dylan Early. Mm. No. Vining quickly down the floor across to Gerbers. Goes to the hoop. Puts up a runner. It's good. Don't overplay him, he'll go by you. And now it's a five point lead, which is the, I think about the largest deficit the Aces have seen in this game. Nice pass. Yeah. Turnbo with six. Nice block by Turnbo. Parker Thiel. Oh. Oh, knocked out of his hands. Quickly down the floor and out of bounds. Aces ball. Oh my. What a shot from Travian Tunis. No kidding. It cuts the gap back to one. Did the acrobat thing. Vining is the ball up to Trey Sin. It's over near side to Miller. The Gerber turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound Thiel. Turnball from the free throw line is no good and Gerber's with the rebound. Miller driving, puts up the runner, it's good. 
Reed Miller, his first two. Tunis, no, too long. Vining cross court to Linder. Timeout, Hicksville. 32-27, five point difference. 4.53 to go here in quarter number three. And the edge has to be given to the Wayne Trace Raiders as they've been just a little bit more productive. A little bit more aggressive right now. The aces are just, normally you see them hit those three point shots, but they have not been able to dial it in quite as well here tonight. I don't know whether they're a little bit nervous with the league championship on the line or I want, would imagine wanting it so bad that yeah, they're hard pressing. to just sort of relax and play their game. Yep. Pressing to get what they got. It'll be the Aces ball. Down by five. Theo finally able to get one to go down. 29-32, Rays still leading. Miller with the ball to Price over to Vining. Vining shot, good. Got the bounce. 10 points, 12 points for Vining. Tunis, nope, too much on it, but Theo. Theo. Wow. Theo down inside. Early, no. Man, they're just not gonna fall. Miller drives in, it's up the runner, it gets it. it. And that offensive run that we talked about is happening for the Wayne Trace Raiders right now. Miller, is it outside divining? Nope. Turnbull. Eight points for Landon. Stolen by Thiel. And he'll be fouled. By Miller. Should be two on Miller. Team foul number two. Rickle's going to come in for early. Field sinks them both. Four points for 30, Parker. 36 33. Raiders leading by three. Miller, Spies, Gerber, Linder. Gerber's from three. Got it. Timeout on the floor. 30 second timeout for Wayne Trace. Two minutes, 31 seconds. Left in our third quarter. Raiders have increased their lead to six. I think that's the biggest lead of the night. I believe so. 
had a four-point lead, eight to four, early in the game. And then they were up by five not too long ago, and now they've increased it to six. And they want to keep it rolling. Aces seeing if they can figure out some way to shift the momentum back onto their side of the ball. Yeah. It's really tough with the size inside, uh, yep. you know, with Gerber's in there, and it's, it's tough for him to... Especially if you block him out and you can't get him inside and you can't get down low, then he just pumps him in from three-point land. Yeah. Because yeah. he's done that a couple of times tonight, too. So, yeah, when you've got somebody with that size and that speed and, and that kind of shooting accuracy... And can shoot. Yeah. Because he took one off a rebound, went all the length of the floor for a layup, too, earlier. Yep. Uh, aces. Oh, Brickle. <laughs> Brickle just smiling. <laughs> he got that one. He's in your face. <laughs> Eel, no. Can't get it to drop again. Yep. Vining with the ball across the space. Miller inside, goes up and rebound. Myers, length of the floor to Brickle. Good. There we go. Four points for Zach. Oh, man. Tunis. Yeah. What happened up there? There's nobody in defense. Now we're yelling at each other. Tunis picks up his first personal, and that's team foul number one for the Aces. Vining at the line. Yeah, there, was, there was nobody in the lane to stop him. Bring Brickle out. Miller will replace him. Vining hits them both. And we're back up to a six point game. Inside to Tunis, back to Miller. Tunis, Brickle. Oh, Parker Thiel loses the handle. And it almost comes loose for the Raiders, but they manage to get it back. Miller divining down inside. It goes to Linder. Rebound, Turnbull. Oh. No. Michael Myers with seven points with that three. And cuts the lead to three. Need a few more lead cutters. Vining with the ball to Gerbers. He's going to the basket. Puts it up. In and out. No good. Myers with the rebound. Down to 30 seconds in the third quarter. It's 41-38. Take care of the ball this time, boys. Get down to 15 seconds. We get too far away. 10. Yeah. yeah. How did, it's going to the line. Yes. Three seconds left. What a great play. Nice handoff. Gerber's got the foul. It's first. <laughs> and that's team foul number three on the Raiders. Turnbull ties it up. 
Three seconds. What are we going to do, boys? And he loses it. We'll be tied after three. Oh, my. Michael tapped that one right away from him. Score after three quarters. It's 41-41. Can't get any tighter than this. Ooh, and boy, do we have to thank our basketball broadcast underwriters for bringing us a great game tonight. They include Community Memorial Hospital, proudly serving the healthcare needs of the Hicksville area for over 65 years, inviting you to find out more about the many physicians on staff and the services that they can provide for you and your family by checking them out online at www.cmhosp.com. And the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick. Jim Schmidt Ford in the Jim Schmidt truck lot. Remember, it's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships. You can check out their entire dealer inventory online and find out everything you need to know about the dealerships as well at jimschmidtauto.com. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships and Community Memorial Hospital, both right here in Hicksville, Ohio. I want to thank them so very much for their basketball underwriting support of Hicks TV. And the Aces, and eight minutes on the clock. It's 0-0, zero, zero basically. Basically, yes. They have played for nothing right now. Yep. There aren't that many fouls on there. There's only two players with two fouls. Yep. And that's Landon Turnbull and Reed Miller. Linder to inbounds. Raiders have the ball to get things started. And here we go. Miller. Is it? Vining has it. Kicks it back out. The Vining. Miller, lob inside. Nope. Caught the big man off balance and he couldn't get a good shot. Parker, Parker from three. Field. Off the back of the iron and down it goes. Yeah, many Christmas. Holy smoke. Seven points for Parker. Trey Sin. The Vining. Vining drives on Thiel. Get it back to Sin. Over in the corner. Miller. Right up, no good. Right, scramble for it on the floor. Jump ball and go to the aces. Possession arrow is going to flip over now. Turnbull back in the game. Forty-four, forty-one. Aces three-point lead. Got the stop and chance to add to the lead. Possession arrow back to the Raiders. Myers working on Vining. Myers. Linder on him. And finally the whistle blows. Man, the wow, ball. I thought for sure that the ball was bouncing all over the place. Trace in. He'll pick up his second. Team foul number four. Talk about letting him play, Jim. Yeah. But actually, the ball was loose. Yeah. Turn ball. Good. <laughs> Timeout. Wow. Aces have a five point lead now. 46 41. 6 17 remaining in the game. I guess if the Aces are going to get hot and put together an offensive run, fourth quarter, this is it. It's the time to do it. Yep. Yep. Doesn't do much good in the first or second quarter when they can catch up and pass you. Not yeah. Again, the Aces are also, I mean, if you're looking ahead, we still have a lot of basketball yet to play, but the Raiders, four team fouls. The Aces have committed only one. So that's 
a little a, bit of momentum on the Aces side uh, yeah. as well. So, yep, that's an important thing there. You end up, you have a lot of fouls to give. Yes, indeed. And the important thing is, again, uh, if you do make it to the line, we need them. Try to sink those free throws. Pick up as many as you can. Any opportunity to score, you're going to want to be able yeah. to capitalize on in this kind of game. Wayne Trace has missed one free throw, and we've missed two. Yep. Six minutes, 17 seconds. It'll be Raiders ball on the baseline. Here we go. Many timeouts left. Yeah, four remaining for the Aces and three for the Raiders. Miller with the ball. It's opening up the lane. Derbers outside. And he's going to draw the foul. And now they're going to talk about some stuff. They're going to give him two shots. Fouls on number three. three. So that'll be Brickle picking up his second. I don't know how he can give him a shot. I don't know either. And Coach Tony Tier wants to know if that's the case, then how come my guys haven't been going to the free throw line? Shoot, he tripped out there, you mm -hmm. know. So, Gerber's to shoot. Nate Gerber. Gets the first one. 16 points now for Gerber. He'll have one more free throw. Gerber gets them both. Aces will get the ball back. Space, the JV player, is back in the game. He's got some speed and some accuracy from out beyond the three-point arc. He's their football quarterback yep. as a sophomore. Only 5'11", but... Ace is still up by three. Letting themselves be a little bit patient now with that three-point lead. Yeah. Tunis getting ready to come back into the game. <laughs> Cat and mouse. Oh, man. Dang it. Needed that. Let's see if they're going to pull the trigger from long range to try to tie it up. Nope. And we're going to have a whistle. Parker Thiel gets a foul. Yep. And that's Parker's first personal and team foul number three on the aces. Brickle will come out early back into the game along with Tunis. And that's going to be another foul. Early's second, team foul four, number four. Miller to shoot. Yep. 446 left in the contest. And they're telling Gerber to tuck in his shirt. Nope. Gerbers goes like it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 
Miller hits the second one. Six forty four eighty. Turnbull. They wanted the whistle against the big man, but didn't come. Myers is going to be fouled by Vining. Team foul number five against the Raiders. So we're just about halfway through this fourth quarter. Oh, okay. Deal makes it a four point game. They've got nine for tonight. Spies with the ball. Well, he was scoreless in the first half, so he's got to make up for lost yeah. time here. Miller on the attack. Over to Linder, Gerbers, Devining. Oh. And Linder, he's going to go to the line, but not after, he not until after it. he takes a basketball square to the face. 22, Turnbull. That's his third. And I don't think they're going to set him down now, though. Well, I don't believe. Linder. Right now, five points on the night. His team's down by four. Six. And a timeout. We're going to have a timeout. Tony Tier going to ice the shooter a little bit and set up the strategy for what the, he wants the aces to do, whether you, this free throw goes down or not. When you come down with the ball, this is what we're going to do. So full one-minute timeout. Both the Aces and the Raiders have three timeouts remaining for the balance of the game. Need a couple threes to fall for us. Yep. He said if they if they've been able to hit some of those frees in the third the first half, we we might not have well the nail biter that we've got right now. Be a little bit of spread, maybe. Yeah. A little little breathing space on the scoreboard, but right now it's still just a one possession game between these two very good basketball teams. Referee's doing a good job tonight, too. They're not letting them get away with anything bad. Nope. They, they, they've been letting them play within reason. Yep. On the rebounding, if you're going straight up, they're not going to give you, you know, call you for anything. But you got to go straight up. Yep. You're reaching over trying to knock it away from somebody. The whistle is going to sound. Linder's got one more. And a chance to make it a two-point game. That's weird. Move Gerbers out of the rebounding area. They're, I think, worried that there might be some kind of a long pass or maybe a breakaway. Nope. So it stays a three-point lead for the Aces. Tunis almost gets it slapped out of his hands. Peace. Myers. Oh, nice. Nine points for Michael. Three minutes, uh, under three minutes. Coming around, Miller with the ball. Yeah, Dylan Hurley's on the big boy. Speech from outside, it's no good. Turnbull, Turnbull fighting on the for floor. it. Yep, Speech got it back. Miller, the Gerber's in the corner. Wow. Nothing doing. 
Sure Nothing doing like, on that one either. Looked like an offensive foul to me went on there. And that's going to be a foul against Parker Thiel. Yeah. And good whistle. Raiders fans do not like it. That's but Linder. Linder got the foul. Got tagged and deservedly so. Trace going to press now. So Linder's stepping out yeah. and he's finding back into the ground. He's the slow ground. afoot, so yep. they take him off the floor. 221, aces up by five. Deal, going to turn on the Jets. Closing in on two minutes. And, and there we go. And again, the Aces fans are saying it's about time. Nate Gerber getting his second personal for the reach in. And yeah, that puts the, the Aces line. in the bonus. So early is going to shoot one and one. They're going to take out Trace in and put Linder back in. Early. Check. Misses. Ah. Yeah. Come on. Darn it. Dumb Miller. Runner. No good. No good. Tunis. Space for the rebound. Or Tunis for the rebound. Finally. Spies says, I'm doing what you're telling me. Yeah, Spies is like, I'm trying as hard as I can to foul them. 141. Team foul eight. And Myers at the line. Still. Got it. That's what you need to do. Two possession, three yeah. possession. Timeout. Nope. Into the game comes Trey Sin. Speech sets down. Nope, not a timeout. I was halfway no. expecting a timeout, but uh, they were top. Just a substitution. Miller driving on Tunis. Nothing there. In the corner, it's Linder. Cross corner to Sidvining. Turnbull, or uh, Thiel with the Thiel. rebound. Thiel's going to get waylaid. He's fouled. Team foul number nine. And he's going to go to the line. Trey Sin should have the foul. Yep. That's three now on Sin. Parker Thiel. Chance to pad out the lead a little bit more here. No. No. Here come the Raiders. They're down by seven. Binding. Trace in. Cross court. Linder. Cross to Gerber. Now we'll have a timeout. Yes, we will. Full one minute. It's a five-point game now with two four-point game. So next foul the Raiders commit puts the Aces in the double bonus. They'll be shooting two no matter what at that point. Aces still have a couple fouls they can give. They've only committed five. So they've got one foul that they can give without sending them to the line. Two possessions, four and points. And it will be Aces ball. Possession arrow favoring the Raiders. Wayne Trace after this timeout will have two left. Aces can stop the clock three more times. 
Oh, my goodness. Ace man over on the other side of the court entertaining the student section on this blackout night. Should have a black deck of cards. <laughs> black deck of cards. <laughs> Travian Tuna is going to handle the inbounds. There's one minute exactly left in regulation. Wow. Whew. Tunis into Turnbull. Bring it up. And Tunis is going to be fouled by Spies. That'll put Travian at the line shooting two. Took six, well, five seconds off the clock. Got it. Linder back in the game, and Spies will have a seat. Tunis misses. Darn it. Five point game. Nice move by Michael Myers as he just pops it out of bounds. Isn't uh, anybody going to inbounds for the Raiders? That's what the official is saying. You guys want the ball or not? Five, Five seconds. seconds. Oh! Oh my. Oh my is right. Five second count. That is the biggest call of the night right now. Tunis quickly across the timeline. Down, Down low the to field. Feel. Oh. Quickly the other way. Three-pointer. And, and Tunis, Tunis fouls has got him. Oh, no. Crimey. That's going to send him to the line to shoot three. Yep. Tunis Trace in. His second personal in team foul number six. Since he was in the act of shooting a three-pointer, when he was fouled, he'll get three shots instead of the two. Misses. Merciful. That makes it a good foul, at least. Yeah. <laughs> 32 seconds left. Yeah. Wow. Second shot for Sin. Gets that one. That makes it a four point game. And we have a timeout. Hickville Aces. timeout. If he hits this third shot, it'll be a three point game. Aces will have the ball. And of course, then number one, get it in bounds. Don't get a five second call on your own. And they're going to follow you. And then, yeah. But if they don't, the next thing is to make sure you get it across the half court line in 10 seconds. Yep. But yeah, I don't think that they're going to have to worry about that. If they get it in bounds, whoever gets that ball, hopefully it's a good free throw shooter because he's probably going to get pummeled. Yeah pretty good right off the bat. Yeah, and he'll get it quick, too. Full one-minute timeout. Again, the Aces have committed 16 fouls, so the next Aces foul will send the Raiders to the line in the bonus. Aces are already in the double bonus, so they mm. shoot two from here on out no matter what. Possession arrow favors the Raiders right now. They will get the ball back if any jump balls are called. And both teams have two timeouts remaining. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man, is it getting loud in the red zone here tonight. The deck of cards is jumping off the floor. Yeah. Surprised he wasn't an ace of hearts for Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, really. 32.7 seconds. One more timeout. One more free throw. Trace in. Misses no good. it. Parker Thiel. Tunis 
Now the Aces, yeah, there we go. Dylan Early gets fouled. So the Aces were in the setup where they could just run their offense. Down 23 seconds. Mox Price. Come on, Dylan. Early. A couple of big free throws here. Aces up by four. Up by five. Got to be liking that. They're going to come down and go right straight to the basket. And he gets them both. Seven points for Dylan. 20 seconds. And a foul. That's going to be Myers. Yep. Michael Myers, second personal. Number seven, so it's one and one. It's going to be a two-shot foul. For Eden Miller. But the Raiders now in the bonus. 17.5 seconds, and they are down by six. Gets the first one. Makes it a five-point game. Peace, ready to come back in. Gets them both, four point game. So some substitutions from the Raiders and the Aces will look to inbound the ball with 17.5 seconds and a four point lead. Tunis, knocked out of bounds. Stays with the Aces. Speech knocks it out. 16.9 seconds now. And that's going to be off of Michael Myers. Wow. What a kill shot they put on him. Knocked him right out of his feet. Oh, they're going to say it is still Aces ball. Parker Thiel. And Thiel's going to get a hand to the face from Mox Price. Here's third. Parker Thiel rubbing his nose a little bit. Yeah, he got hit. He got, he got took, took a forearm. The uh, referee looking to make sure that there's no blood. 13.9 seconds. And he misses the Dang. first one. He'll get the second. People are tightening up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Miller's going to go the length of the floor with the ball if he gets it. Gets that one. There he comes. Miller held up a little bit, but they're going to let him go to the hoop. Count it. And he's going to the line. Darn it. You don't Why would you do that? No kidding. Just let him get the bucket. Now we're down to three points. Parker Thiel with eight seconds left. And Reed's going to see if he can make it a two-point game. Yep. And he does. Beast back in the game to shoot a three. Aces ball. Knocked out of bounds. Six. And it'll stay with the Aces. Timeout, what an unbelievably bad pass on the inbounds play. Yes. As I, I think you thought Turnbull was going to break toward, but Turnbull, well, either way, 
Uh, an awful inbounds pass recovered by the Raiders. An immediate timeout called as soon as they had their hands on the ball. So it's a two-point game, and the Raiders are going to have the ball and a chance to either tie or win with just under five seconds left in regulation. What a bad mistake, and yep. what a terrible time to make it. Yeah, that's that's as bad as that five-second count earlier. Yep, so... So the Aces looking like they might have had everything well in hand, and now the Raiders are not done yet. And holy smoke, if they lose... If the, if Hicksville loses this game on a last second three pointer, oh my goodness. The Aces faith will come to their feet as Hicksville comes back on the floor. 4.8 seconds left. So it's going to be a long five seconds. The Raiders can call another timeout. The Aces can stop the clock a couple times too. They're going to have Gerber. Gerber's going to inbound it. it. Look at him to get it back. Boom. There goes Miller. That's it. And we're tied. That guy over there saying there's no time on the clock. <laughs> and it definitely didn't take 4.8 seconds to go from there into the basket. Like I said I, said, I don't think time had expired. So at the end of regulation, it is 56 for each team, Wayne Trace and Hexville, in this GMC title game. What a war. So, We'll get ready for four minutes of overtime play. They'll add a timeout for both sides, so the Aces will have three. The Raiders will have two. And they'll get ready to jump center circle. Turnbull against Gerber. Turnbull got him the first time. Yep. See what we do here. So here we go. Got to turn him around. Four minutes of varsity basketball. We'll see which team is still got a fresh, got their legs under them, and they're not even going to contest it. They're just going to yep. let Gerber. Miller has the ball to Vining. To trace in. The Linder down low. It goes to the Gerber. big guy. He hits it. Offensive foul. Josiah Linder's third. Not much doubt about that. Uh, 
Myers gets it down to early. Tunis. From there, Tunis taking some ill-advised shots here in the overtime. Big man, fade away, no good. Linder with the rebound, and he's, he's going to be fouled. On feel. Parker's third. Well, Linder with his team up by two. This is the first one. So at worst, it'll be a three-point lead. Got that one. This is down by three. Turnbull. That'll be his fourth. <laughs> Miller to shoot again. Yep. Wheels have kind of come off for the aces here in the overtime. Got it. Four point game. Five point game. Got it. Michael Myers makes it a two point game again. Minute 36. Timeout aces. So they're going to need to get the stop here, get the ball back. Yes, they are. And we'll see what happens, but again. I mean, let's be honest, Jim. If, if this does go the way of Wayne Trace, Aces, it's, it's going to really burn because this is a game the Aces should have won. They should have had this game wrapped up yep. in regulation. Yep. Just uh, a couple of bad mistakes there right near the end. If, that terrible pass that was inbound. And following a guy who's shooting a three. Right. Yeah, you, that, that's, that's not very smart. So you back into him when he's shooting, knock him down, he's going to get let up. Yep. So minute 36, we're in the first overtime. Not unexpected that this one's going to go right down to the wire and no, no. and then some. So Ace is putting on a man press. 
And they're telling the camera people <laughs> to back off. Miller with the ball. As the Raiders are going to make the aces follow them if they can. And Myers got a foul there. That'll be his third. And Reed, who pretty good shooting free throws, finds himself back at the line again. And it's double bonus, so they'll shoot two. Both teams shooting two from here on out. Misses. Gets that one. Four point game. Three point. Oh, you're right, I'm sorry. Turnbull gets it to go. One point game for the Raiders. And there's Parker Field drawing the foul. That'll be four on Parker. Last, last the eye you wanted to foul. One point game. So if he hits them both, the Aces can send it to another overtime for the three point shot. Misses. And a timeout, they'll ice the shooter. Ugh. Full one minute timeout, so he's got plenty of time to think about the shot coming up. Yes, he does. It'll be a two point game if he hits it. So the Aces can get the ball back and a three. We'll look at overtime again. Our three would win it. Yeah. So. But uh, there's a lot of seconds left. Yeah, that is true. Well, Jim and I are going to be back here at the Red Zone on uh, tomorrow, Saturday. It'll be the makeup games for the Lady Aces against North Central. They're iced out earlier in the week. And it's the last home game, so it'll be senior recognition. I'm not sure if they're going to do it between the games or after the game, but Good. we'll be here for that. That'll close out the girls' regular season, and they'll kick off tournament play down at Lincoln View on Tuesday, the 19th of February. Wow. All right, 50.5 seconds. And one shot remaining for Miller. Gets it. Two-point game. Miller and Gerbers have been terrors. Knocked out of bounds. Should be the Aces ball. Jace Vining had flown in there and he was trying to convince the yeah. officials that he hadn't touched the ball. Yep. 39-9 left. Early timeout. That'll be the last time the Aces can stop the clock. Thirty second timeout. So the Aces are going to want to set up a play here to hit a three if they can, or maybe figure out some way that they've got a good chance of hitting a two and maybe drawing a foul. 
We'll see what Tony Tier comes up with. 30.7 seconds. Aces are out of timeouts. Raiders still have two that they can work with if they need to. Yeah, as soon as they get their hands on the ball, they'll be calling timeout. So getting things set. Field gets the ball into Myers. He draws the foul. Look at that. Rinky dink shots. This will be a 22 big boy. That's three on Gerber. Myers, two big free throws coming his way with 18.7 seconds. Misses. Oh, man. Brickle and Miller in. People that they can commit fouls. Yep. Myers gets the second one. And they're going to send Miller back to the line. Chief. Tunis is going to pick up the foul, I believe. Yep. That's three on Tunis. And Reed Miller, who's gotten eight points so far tonight off the free throw line, is going to have two more shots. Chance to make it a three-point lead for the Raiders if he hits them both. If he makes the second one, they will call timeout. Making sure everything is square with the scorer's table. Not giving Tunis four fouls. Okay, I must have missed one somewhere. That one's good for Miller. them both. And the Raiders call timeout. Yep. They lead by three, so they're going to set up their prevent defense to try to prevent the Aces from either hitting a three or a bucket and a foul. It's crunch time for real for the Aces. Is My Miller's got 18 points. And they're seeing their chances for possibly an outright GMC title. Maybe starting to slip away here. 22 points for Gerber. So they have 40 out of 65 points. Yep. That little guy standing over there the other side of the door. Yeah. He is one fine referee and baseball umpire. I am not joking. He used to run the Lucas County Rec Center. Yep. It looks like he might be. Every now and then at these games, they have uh, somebody from the OHSAA who sort of like evaluates. Yep. And he's, he's kind of looking like that might be what he's doing here tonight. Yep. So the Aces get the ball inbounds. 16. Myers almost loses it, gets it back, puts it up, saved, and out of bounds to the Raiders. 
And they're going to win this basketball game, Jim. Yep. Comes the big boy in to stand in front of the inbound path. Yep. They're going to take their last time out. 4.1 seconds. The Aces just not able to hang on to the ball. They lose it out of bounds to the Raiders. And Wayne Trace is going to cash in their last remaining timeout. Full one minute. And all they got to do is get the ball inbounds and kill four seconds. So the Aces are going to be looking to get the five second call if they can. I think it, I said if they have Gerber go to handle the inbounds, that way if they decide to put somebody like Jackson Bergman in front of him to try to block the inbounds, he'd be able to get around Bergman. And they are bringing in Bergman. To, and oh, well, they're going to put the little guy down there in the corner. All right. So we'll see if Bergman can get a, ball. get a deflection or prevent the inbounds. And they're going to launch it. And a foul with three seconds. That's going to be on number five, Jake Miller. And the Aces have got to hope against all hope that Miller goes cold here at the line. Right now it's a one possession game, but if Miller hits this one, it's pretty much done for the Aces. And it's pretty much done for the Aces, unfortunately. They'll bring back in Turnbull, Tunis, and Thiel. Yep. But as of right now, it would take a miracle for the Aces to be able to send this game to another overtime. Going to launch it. No good. And the Raiders have claimed a share of the GMC title and handed the second loss of the season to the Raiders. And they are going crazy. Aces had their chances. And I said it before, this is a game that, the, that Hicksville should have won. A couple of really, really terrible. I mean, they had a great play with a five-second call that you thought was going to salt the game away. They had a they, they fouled a guy shooting a three-pointer. He got two of the three. That was not good. And then, like I said, then just a terrible inbounds pass near the tail end of regulation that turned the ball over to the Raiders that allowed them to tie it up and send it to overtime. Yes, sir. And they boy, they cleared the scoreboard pass. I didn't even get a chance to write down the final score. Final score. <laughs> Here, 67-62. Uh, so Scoring five. for Hicksville. Travian Tunis had 11 points, two trays of field goal and three free throws. Zach Brickle had two baskets for four. Dalen Early had a deuce and a tray and two free throws for seven. Michael Myers had two trays, three twos, for 12 and three free throws for 15. Parker Thiel had seven points on two buckets and a tray, and he had three more on free throws, giving him a total of 10. And Landon Turnbull had all deuces for a total of 14 and one free throw for 15. For Wayne Trace, Reed Miller had three field goals. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve free throws for eighteen. And Josiah and Linder Linder. had two buckets and three free throws for seven. Nate Gerber had one, two, three, four, five 
deuces and three trays for 19 and three free throws for 22. Trey Sin had a tray and one free throw for four. And Jace Vining had two trays, two buckets, and four free throws for a total of 14. So, Dave. So, yeah, three aces, four aces in double figures, but it is not enough to overcome the onslaught of Gerber and Vining and Miller yeah. tonight. So, as they came up, those three had double figures for them. We just could not penetrate that offense or that defense and get inside. We got inside and then we'd make a bad pass. Yep. And we again, just, like I said, and then the worst pass of all was the attempted yeah. inbounds from uh, Tunis to Turnbull right. with only about five, six, four, four, eight. four, yeah, five seconds left in the contest. Yep. So with that, uh, the Aces are almost done with their regular season. They have two more games coming up, both of them non-conference. Uh, they have uh, next week on Thursday, they're uh, making up the uh, games against Hilltop that were canceled earlier in the week. And then on Friday, February 22nd, it'll be senior night as they close out the regular season hosting Miller City. The Aces top seed in their sectional, the Defiant sectional. So they've got a first round bye and then they will be in action, is it Friday the 1st of March? Yep. Or the second, I guess first. Friday, March 1st. Uh, their, their opponent to be determined, obviously, yeah, winner, earlier in the week. Winner of Ayersville and Holgate. So, so our broadcast schedule then, as I mentioned earlier, Jim and I will be back here on Saturday for the makeup games for the girls as they make up uh, their senior night against North Central. We'll be on the road next week on Tuesday to Lincoln View for the uh, sectional opener, the girls playing against Paulding. I was talking with Coach Fries and I asked him what he thought they would do against Paulding, and he looked at me and he shrugged and he said, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll see. <coughs> and then uh, we'll be back here in the red zone uh, for a Thursday-Friday combo. And then we'll wait and see. Depending on how the girls do, we may have another girls sectional game that will work into the schedule. Right. And if not, then after we wrap up with Miller City on Friday, we'll have about a week off before we head to Defiance High School for the, boys sectional the action. The girls play Paulding. Yep, the girls will play Paulding at Lincoln View. And like I said, and then that's on Tuesday, and then I'm not sure what we'll do if they win, especially if they're supposed to play on Thursday. We may have to that's the case we may forego the Hilltop game, and but if they play on Saturday, then we'll go back to Lincoln View on Saturday night. So we'll see how it goes. Yep. All right. Anyhow, we want to thank, uh, again, our uh, basketball broadcast underwriters making our coverage possible from the Red Zone here tonight. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships and Community Memorial Hospital, both of them right here in Hicksville, Ohio. I want to say a big thank you, too, to all of our fellow broadcasters because on a night like tonight when things are so crowded on press row, it takes a little bit of friendly cooperation to make sure that everybody gets what needs to be done for their stations done. So I want to thank them for all of their help and forbearance and moving around and so forth. And um, we want to thank you for tuning by. Hope you enjoyed the coverage from this big game tonight. Heartbreaking loss in overtime for the Aces as uh, they, uh, that's their first league loss, so they'll share the GMC title with the Wayne Trace Raiders, with uh, both of them having six and one records. Yes. Yep. So, so two, with that, two years in a row, we'll get ready to. We're going to call it a night. Uh, again, uh, thanks to everybody, and uh, for Jim Seiler calling the play-by-play -play here this evening, and for Chris Warner working behind the camera. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television, wishing all of you a good night. And good sports. <laughs>